Hello students, welcome to Teach You Smart. Let's continue our journey through exponents and powers. Now we know how to express a given number in exponential form. Let's see the powers of 2. We know that 64 equals 2 multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2. That is 2 raised to 6. Here the base is 2, and the exponent is 6. When we divide 64 by the base 2, we get 64 by 2 equals 32 equals 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 equals 2 raised to 5. Again 32 by the base 2. 32 by 2 equals 16 equals 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 equals 2 raised to 4. Continuing like this, we can write 16 by 2 equals 8 equals 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 equals 2 raised to 3. 8 by 2 equals 4 equals 2 multiplied by 2 equals 2 raised to 2. 4 by 2 equals 2 equals 2 raised to 1. By observing this pattern, can you find anything special? Yes, here, the exponents are decreased by 1 when the number is divided by the base. So by continuing this pattern, we get 2 by 2 equals 1 equals 2 raised to 1 minus 1 equals 2 raised to 0. 1 by 2 equals 2 raised to 0 minus 1 equals 2 raised to minus 1 or 1 by 2 raised to 1 equals 2 raised to minus 1. 1 by 2 divided by 2 equals 1 by 2 multiplied by 1 by 2 equals 1 by 2 square equals 2 raised to minus 2. 1 by 2 square divided by 2 equals 1 by 2 square multiplied by 1 by 2 equals 1 by 2 cube equals 2 raised to minus 3. 1 by 2 cube divided by 2 equals 1 by 2 cube multiply by 1 by 2 equals 1 by 2 raised 4 equals 2 raised to minus 4 and so on. While taking the powers with negative exponents, we can see 1 by 2 is equal to 2 raised to minus 1. 1 by 2 square equals 2 raised to minus 2. 1 by 2 cube equals 2 raised to minus 3. 1 by 2 raised to 4 equals 2 raised to minus 4. So in general, we can say that for any non-zero integer, a 1 by a raised to m equals a raised to minus m or a raised to minus m equals 1 by a raised to m where m is a positive integer. If we take 1 by a raised to m equals a raised to minus m, then by cross multiplying, we get a raised to m multiplied by a raised to minus m equals 1. So we can say that a raised to minus m is the multiplicative inverse of a raised to m and vice versa. We already know that how to expand a number, including decimal numbers. Let's see an example. 2348 
can be written as 2348 equals 2 multiplied by 1000 plus 3 multiplied by 100 plus 4 multiplied by 10 plus 8 multiplied by 1 and its exponential form is 2348 equals 2 multiplied by 10 cube plus 3 multiplied by 10 square plus 4 multiplied by 10 raised to 1 plus 8 multiplied by 10 raised to 0. If we take a decimal number, 1259.456, then by expanding, we get 1259.456 equals 1 multiplied by 1000 plus 2 multiplied by 100 plus 5 multiplied by 10 plus 9 multiplied by 1 plus 4 multiplied by 1 by 10 plus 5 multiplied by 1 by 100 plus 6 multiplied by 1 by 1000. This can also be expressed in exponential form as 1259.456 equals 1 multiplied by 10 cube plus 2 multiplied by 10 square plus 5 multiplied by 10 raised to 1 plus 9 multiplied by 10 raised to 0 plus 4 multiplied by 1 by 10 plus 5 multiplied by 1 by 10 square plus 6 multiplied by 1 by 10 cube which is equal to 1 multiplied by 10 cube plus 2 multiplied by 10 square plus 5 multiplied by 10 raised to 1 plus 9 multiplied by 10 raised to 0 plus 4 multiplied by 10 raised to minus 1 plus 5 multiplied by 10 raised to minus 2 plus 6 multiplied by 10 raised to minus 3 let's recall what we discussed today for any non-zero integer, a 1 by a raised to m equals a raised to minus m, where m is a positive integer. Expressing a decimal number in its expanded form, using exponents. Before winding up, let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. Find the multiplicative inverse of the following numbers. 2 raised to minus 10, 5 raised to 8, and 100 raised to minus 1. Next, write the expanding form of the given numbers using exponents. First, 10,598.67. Second, 895.3012. That's all for now. See you all in the next class.